Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Google Pixel Buds Pro. Now you can pick these up online. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on these, 200 bucks. I repeat, 200 bucks. Now they come in four different colors. You got charcoal, fog, lemongrass, and coral. In other words, black, white, red, and green. All right, so let's go through the specs real quick. Now these are Bluetooth version 5.0. The earbuds are IPX4 sweat and water resistant. Now the case is IPX2 sweat and water resistant. Now you got 11 millimeter dynamic drivers. You got active noise cancellation, transparency mode, and volume EQ. We'll talk about that in a minute. Now you got three beam forming mics in each earbud, so that's gonna give you crystal clear phone calls. You got multi-point connection, so that means you can pair two devices at the same time. You got customizable touch controls, for play and pause, volume up and down, skip and reverse tracks, answering them phone calls, and activate your voice assistant. Now you got in-ear detection. So what that means is when you're wearing the earbuds, when you pop them out, they'll automatically pause your music, put them back in, your music will resume. Now the battery life on these is 11 hours with active noise cancellation turned off. With the case, that's a total of 31 hours. Now if you turn on ANC, you're gonna get seven hours worth of battery, with a total of 20 hours using the charging case. Now you also got quick charge, five minutes of charge, will give you one hour worth of playtime. Now the case does have wireless charge. Now you got an app that's available for Android. If you got iOS, you asked out. Now on a side note, if you got an iPhone or an iOS device, you can still use these. You just won't be able to update your firmware or access the app. If you got Android, you got access to all of the features. All right, all of that for 200 bucks. Let's see what it is. Now, at the end of this video, I'm gonna answer two questions. Number one, are these worth 200 bucks? And number two, how do I rank these versus the One More Evo Buds? Now, these are one of my favorite sets of earbuds, and these are 180 bucks. So around the same price. All right, first things first, shout out to White Shoes back in the building. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. White shoes. Calm down. All right, just in case y'all ain't see it, she up there in the cut. All right, here we go. Pixel Buds Pro. Now I went with the charcoal color. Okay, nice white box. Y'all know I like that. Giggity. Got the unboxing knife. Let's get it on. Ra. Ah. Now, if you're at home, remember, get to poking. Okay, here we go. Now, this is a small box. Inside, this is going to be your earbuds. Okay. Now let's see what this is. This is gonna be, okay, different size ear tips. Let's see how many we get in here. Okay, so two different size ear tips. So small, medium, and large. I'm assuming that medium is already installed. Let's see what this is. And of course, you got your usual books and shit. Pluck them, follow them to the side. Now I will say this. You've seen the Pixel phones, okay? No charge in the box. I don't like that. Now they're taking it one step further. You don't even got a USB Type-C cable in the box. Come on, <laughs> come on, Google. Y'all really reaching with this now. Y'all gotta cut this shit out. Every Now, every new product is gonna be less stuff in the box. <laughs> I know you got a USB Type-C cable at home, but come on. You just spent 200 bucks. Give me the goddamn USB Type-C cable. Stop playing around. All right, here we go. Pixel Buds Pro. Now, as far as the original Pixel Buds, I didn't like them that much. Okay, so I'm gonna go into this with an open mind and we'll see if these ones are anything better. Let's see how the actual earbuds look. Okay. Kind of on the discreet side. You got a little G branding on each one. Let's see, left and right. Okay, drop them back in the case. The case is nice and lightweight. So far they look good. All right, so let me pause the video. I'll grab a phone, we'll pair these up, and start our usual testing. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. First, let's check the case for wireless charge. Now, I got the Razer wireless charger. You see, you got a static color LED. If you put a product on it that has wireless charge and it starts charging, these LEDs are gonna start flashing different colors. So let's try it out. Now, in the buds, the LED did light up, and if you notice, Flashing colors, wireless charge on deck. All right, so now let's take a look at the actual charging case. Nice and lightweight. I love the matte feel on this, no fingerprints. 
on the bottom, USB Type-C charging slot, LED indicator on the front. This is the charcoal color, like I said. Let's check the strength on the magnets. We'll start with minimum shakage. Okay, intermediate shakage. Okay, maximum shakage. Yeah. Okay, excellent strength on the magnets. And like I said, the case is IPX2, the actual earbuds, IPX4, sweat and water resistant. Now for the earbuds, I actually do like the look, okay? Y'all know I like this style way better than the pencil style. These look more discreet. Okay, just got a little left and right branding, little Google logo on each one. Real nice. Drop them back in the case, and that's how they look. All right, so now let's talk about the look, the fit, and the feel. Okay, so I'm gonna put these in my ears. Now, off camera, I tried the large size tips. I think I like the medium size a little bit better. Okay, so I got them in. It's a nice, snug, tight fit. You can definitely feel the noise isolation as soon as you put them on. They seem lightweight and comfortable. Let's do the head shake test. I'm gonna start off with minimum shakage. Okay, no movement. Intermediate shakage. No movement. <laughs> Maximum shakage. Ah! Okay, no movement at all. Now, let me show you how they're gonna look. And y'all don't wanna see how White Shoes is looking at me like, bro, what are you doing? Here's how they're gonna look in your ears. Okay, I like this style way better than having that stem. This looks way more discreet. Okay, let's keep it moving. All right, so now for the pairing process, let's see if we got fast pair. Let's open these up. Okay, Pixel Buds Pro. Hit connect, hit setup, and wait for it to pair up. All right, so the setup process is complete. Here's how the app looks. Now it shows you the name of your Pixel Buds. Okay, you got the battery percentage for the left and the right. You got your Google Assistant. You got Find My Device. You can customize your touch controls. So swipe forward, swipe back for volume up and down, single tap, double tap, triple tap, and press and hold. Let's see, you got sound modes. Okay, right now I'm on transparency mode, so I can hear everything. I can hear my nail on the table. Let's turn it off. Okay, so it just got a whole lot quieter, and we got noise cancellation. Now I'm gonna go outside and test all this stuff out. Let me put it back on transparency mode so I ain't gotta yell. Let's see, you got your ear tip seal check. I already did that. You can update your settings, okay, for your firmware. You got about, tips and support, email notifications. Let's see, you got multi-point connection. Okay, I'm gonna turn that on and test it out. Make sure we can switch between two devices seamlessly. Okay, you got audio switching. I'm gonna leave that on. You got HD AAC, one of the codecs. You got your phone calls, media audio, and our contact share, and I'm gonna leave that off. All right, so the app is simple and straightforward. All right, so now I got a classic song queued up. We got A Night to Remember by Shalimar. Now I'm gonna start off at max volume with active noise cancellation turned on, and I promise y'all I'm not gonna sing. But I got my mic just in case. All right, here we go. One tap for playing pause. I'm feeling a little bit zesty today. All right, so <laughs> let's get it on. Okay. Okay. So far, nice and clear. I can hear all the instruments. Very nice, very nice. Okay, now here come the bass drop. Okay, okay. Hold up, I might have to do it. When you love someone, it's natural, not demanding. And that's the thing I tried to say I found with you. I'm so glad we reached an understanding. Now I know my heart is safe with you. Boom, ooh, ooh, ooh. And now my love to you, baby, I surrender. Let's go. Get ready. Tonight. I'm gonna make this a night to remember. Let's go, shoes. Get ready. All right, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, one time for playing pause. Okay, now uh, these actually sound good. Let's do a little bass test. Let's take it over to, of course, Nipsey Hustle, Blue Laces 2. Let's see how the bass bangs on these. Okay, 
Oh, baby, just went so long. All right, hold on. Let me be quiet for this part. Okay, hold up. Mmm, okay. Okay. Ooh, okay, okay. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of impressed. <laughs> Mocha, let they know that. Okay, hold up. Okay. Now, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. These actually sound pretty good. They definitely sound better than the original Pixel Buds, for sure. I, I really didn't like those. Now, like I said, I'm going into this with an open mind. The clarity of the music is there. Now, I'm rocking these at max volume. It didn't seem like it got muddy. The bass was nice and clean. I actually like these. All right, now, the only thing is, I got to put them side by side with the Evo Buds. I think the Evo Buds might be better. But this is a good start from Google, all right? This is a good start and coming out with real earbuds, okay? I actually like the sound of these. Let's do a little bit more testing. All right, so now let's check in-ear detection. So I'm gonna play the music, I'm gonna take out the earbuds and see if it automatically pauses and then resumes when I put them back in. Let's hit play. Okay, so the music is playing. I took them out my ears, it automatically paused. Let's put them back in. Music started playing. All right, so the in-ear detection works. All right, so now let's do the one earbud test. Can you play music from one earbud while the other one is charging up in the case? I got the music playing. Let's take out the left earbud, drop it in the case. Let's hit play on the music. Okay, so the right side is playing. Let's put the left side back in. Okay, just reconnect it. Now I'm gonna take out the right side, let's drop it in the case. Let's hit play on the music. The left side is still playing. All right, so this is pretty dope. You can use either earbud independently, basically doubling your battery life. Now let's do the reconnection test. How long do these take to reconnect to your phone after you take them out and put them in the charging case? All right, so let's go ahead and pop these out. Put them in, wait for them to fully disconnect. Okay, here we go. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, Okay, it said connect it. Just like that, two Mississippis. That's pretty good. All right, so now let's check the touch controls. One tap for play and pause. That'll also answer and end phone calls. Okay, that works. Double tap to skip to the next song. Okay, triple tap to go to the previous track. Okay, swipe forward for volume up. Okay, swipe back for volume down. Okay, and we can press and hold for Google Assistant, or we could just say, okay, Google, what's the weather for tomorrow? It will be partly cloudy with a high of 90 degrees. Okay, so all of the touch controls work. All right, so now let's check the call quality. I'm gonna call up Amaya. Okay, let's see, let's get max volume. Yeah. Hi, girly. I'm making a video. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I only call. I, 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 yeah, you know, I only call when I need something. You know, how I give it up. <laughs> no, no, no. So let me find out you out here going to the boil without me, man. Come on, man. I thought I, I thought we was Batman and Robin, bro. Come on, man. Yeah, I, oh, fat ass. All right, all right, all right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna call you after this, but in the meantime, I right, just, right, just do some work real quick, do some work. How do I sound? I got you, I got CTC, I'm gonna cut the check. Um, how do I sound? Okay, I'll, now hold up now, what about now? Do you hear anything different? You can, you, you hear the wind? A little bit of wind though, just a little bit. Okay, okay, let me turn that off. Oh, okay, but I sound good, though. Okay, you sound good, too, though. You sound good, too. Okay, let me turn the wind off. All right, all right, come on, bro, come on, bro. All right, all right. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to call you back after this, and you can tell me all your, you can tell me all your fat escapades. Yeah? All right, girly, I'll talk to you in a minute. Bye! Okay. Now, as far as the call quality, 
it sounded really good on my end. She said I sounded good. When I put on the AC, the AC, when I put on the uh, Brookstone wind machine, I, the, 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 the hyperbolic wind tunnel, when I put this on, she said it sounded a little bit windy. Now, I have a bunch of earbuds that y'all see me review. I put this on Max Fan right next to my ear like this, and she couldn't hear nothing. So I would say the mics on these are pretty good, but I've had better. All right, so now let's check for latency. And what I mean by that is, when you're watching a video, is there any delay from the person's lips to what you hear? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Lampin. All right, so no lip sync delay at all. All right, so this will be perfect for watching videos, perfect for watching YouTube, Netflix, Amazon Prime, whatever you got. All right, so now let's check multi-point connection. Now I got the earbuds paired up to two phones. Let's hit play on the first phone. Okay, the music is playing. Let's hit pause. Let's hit play on the second phone. Okay, you see it just switched over. Now the music is playing. All right, so multi-point connection works. Let's hit the first one again. Okay, now it's playing. Hit the second one one more time. That is a fast transition. All right, so multi-point is a go. All right, so now for one of the most annoying tests I do, let's check active noise cancellation with the baby crying. So right now I got it on transparency mode. I can fully hear everything. Let's go. Okay. Now I'm gonna turn on ANC. Okay, now ANC is on. Let's go ahead and play some music at max volume. Okay. Let's wait for the music to really drop. Now, I can still hear the baby crying. Okay, hold on. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, hold on. All right, goddammit. All right. <laughs> now, I will say this. Music on at max volume, I can only hear a teeny bit of the baby crying. Now, certain earbuds that I got, I don't got to name them. Y'all already know my top five. When I do the same exact test, you do not hear one bit of the baby crying, not one teeny sound at all. This, I heard the baby crying a little bit. Now, in order to fully test these, I'm gonna take them outside, I'm gonna sit in the car, I'm gonna walk around the corner, get white shoes, some dinner, and I'll test out transparency mode, and we'll see how the active noise cancellation uh, works in the real world. All right, so now let's talk about transparency mode and active noise cancellation. Now, I just walked around the corner to the store, and when I got inside the store, I had to have a little conversation, you know, mira ver aquí, with the Spanish people up in the store. So I just turned on transparency mode. I know a little Spanish. And I was able to have my conversation without taking the earbuds out of my ears. All right, so no issues with that. Next, let's talk about active noise cancellation. Now, yeah, no, I got three tiers. We got trash tier, okay tier, and top tier. And, of course, for a few earbuds, God tier but we really want to focus on three tiers. I'm going to rank these as okay tier. All right, that's right in the middle, okay tier. Now, sitting in the car with my engine idling, y'all know my car is mad loud, I can actually still hear some of the car. Now, certain earbuds that I got, again, anyone that's in my top five, you do not hear any sound in the car when you're playing your music. Same thing with the baby crying. If you put on a song at max volume, you will not hear that baby crying at all. With these, I can still hear a little faint whining in the background, which would really annoy me if I just spent 200 bucks on active noise canceling earbuds and I can still hear that goddamn baby crying. That would get on my nerves, okay? So I'm not gonna say these are trash tier. These are okay tier, okay? These are okay tier, all right tier, but not top tier, okay? These are in the middle. Now, let me answer those two questions. Are these worth 200 bucks and how do they compare to the one more Evo Buds? Let's find out. All right, so I got two Android phones, same song, same app, but one more Evo Buds. They did an update, now you got an EQ. So I got this set on my favorite EQ settings. This one doesn't have an EQ, so you're gonna have to use the stock setting. And I got both of these on active noise cancellation. So we're gonna start off with the Pixel Buds, okay? 200 bucks. I got one of my favorite songs, I, Chris, Christopher Walken, here we go. Okay, now we got max volume, ANC turned on. 
Now this is a media bass drop. Here we go. Whoop. Nigga saying outside. Okay. Send me the ad and we gon' slide. Air it out when we arrive. Okay. Hold up. So I'm grabbing that bitch by the throat. Uh. Okay. I ain't gonna front. The pixel buds really do sound good. Now let's try the one more buds. Okay. Here we go. Same song. <laughs> now these are definitely louder. Okay, hold up. <laughs> okay. Woo! So you say it outside. Nigga, say it outside. Send me the ad, we gon' slide. Air that when we a rock. Look, done with the smoke. Niggas don't want no smoke. Okay, hold up. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, bro. <laughs> now, part of the reason is because the One More Buds do have an app, so I did tweak my EQ settings to my favorite EQ settings, but these sound way better, all right, way better. Let's just let me rock it one more time, just to be safe. Nah, those sounded way better. No, don't get me wrong, the Pixel Buds sound great. Let's try that again. Send the added, we gon' slide. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. The rock the do the you on that's why I rough on the shoot. False niggas. Hot boy. You ain't in the field, you a top boy. I'm like a cowboy. I'm the one that they envy like cowboy. <laughs> she wanna fuck with her real one real niggas making stats. I ain't no window shopper. Yo man I have window shopping. I be in all the stores and no I ain't window shopping. Let's go. She throw her back as I'm popping. I'm making plays with her. We run her back like an option. All right, hold on. I'm sorry. I just had to hit my part, y'all. I'm sorry. I had to hit my part. All right, let me drop these back in now. Okay. Let's keep it going. Hit play. Okay. Send the head and we go sign. These are way louder. Got way more bass. <laughs> I'm about to Dior, Dior, now that's all I wear for the shoes. I'm thinking, you ain't in the you're that one. Look at that, I'm like a cowboy. I'm the one that they envy like cowboy. Let's go! She wanna fuck with the real one, real ones back in style. I ain't no window shopper. You may not hear window shopping. I be in all the stores. I know we ain't window shopping. Let's go! She throw her back as I'm popping. I'm making plays for her. We running back like an option. Okay, okay, okay. Woo! Y'all yeah, hear this shit? Niggas in the house, huh? Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I couldn't help it. This is my theme song. Okay. That's it, pause. Bro. Bro, let me calm down. I gotta say it like this. The Pixel Buds, they do sound pretty good. Right, they sound pretty good, but the Evo Buds, they sound better. Definitely better, and it's obviously a better buy. If you get the Evo Buds, you're gonna get an app to change your EQ settings. Okay, you got the preset sounds. With the Pixel Buds, you're gonna get all of the Google features, so that's something you gotta you know, weigh for your pros and cons. If it was me and my money though, all right, if I had 200 bucks to spend on Air Buds and somebody said, which one should I get? The Pixel Buds or the Evo Buds? I'm going with the Evo Buds, okay? It's not even not even a question. Now, let me answer those other two questions. All right, same two questions. <laughs> Are these worth 200 bucks? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no. Now look, if you bought these with your Pixel 6, all right, maybe you got the Pixel 6 and you got the deal on these, all right, then you're a winner. Would I go out right now to the store and drop 200 bucks on these? No. Okay, you can get these for 180. This, you can get the Galaxy Buds, which I'm pretty sure sound better than these also. I would say these need to be about a buck 50, and they will price drop. I give it maybe about a month. Once the Galaxy Buds drop next week or two weeks from now, they're gonna have to drop the price on these. Okay, this 200 bucks, that's too much. 
Okay, that's too much. These should be 150. You got decent active noise cancellation. The sound quality is pretty good. Okay, the call quality was good. Battery life on these is good. I don't really got any issues with these, except for, you know, y'all come to my channel because y'all want to see comparisons and y'all want to know, all right, which one should I buy? Should I buy these or should I buy these? Buy these, okay? These are one of the sleeper buds right here. The one more Evo buds. These are a set of sleeper buds right here. Anyway, are they worth 200 bucks? No. All right, I, I give it 150 on these. Which ones do I like better? These are the Evo buds. I'm going with Evo buds. Let's get and wrap this up. All right, so overall, on a scale of one to 10, I'm giving the Google Pixel Buds Pro a major go. Now, I can't give these a triple major go because the price, 200 bucks, you got earbuds on the market that are better, okay? Now, if you could get these for 150, if they came out for 150, I would have said these are a double major go. If they was 100 bucks, it would have been a triple major go, all right? The sound quality is great. The active noise cancellation is okay. Call quality is okay. Okay, the battery life is great. Multi-point connection, okay? All of the Google features. These are really good, but I've just had better. All right, I've had better, and you could get better for the same exact price and cheaper. Anyway, Google Pixel Buds Pro, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about these. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys are like. Oh yeah. Special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter. That's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah. One more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuce. Spock won the beam up. And John. situation where everybody in the world uses technology and if you're gonna buy some of that technology you gotta understand certain things subscribe to Flossy Carter he does reviews of all the latest technology the iPhones the iPads the galaxies the Samsung's whatever the fuck the beats by that doctor guy and he puts his kitty cat in the videos too for you something to look at you know, I'm an animal lover, so I like that shit. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, the Flossy Carter on the YouTube, the follow button on the Insta face, and the like button on the face look. Because if you don't, we're going to have a fucking problem here. A bad one. Now hit the fucking subscribe button.